Did you just buy a guitar and now you're trying to find ways to transform your basic guitar skills into something you can impress your grandma at a random family reunion? Or for whatever reason you searched how to get better at guitar on YouTube. You come to the right place. Today I'm showing you four tips that I believe will help you get better at guitar and just maybe even like make some people think that you're way better at playing this thing than you actually are. Tip number one. When learning to switch between chords, forget about the strumming pattern for a while. Just focus on the switching in between different chords in order to develop muscle memory. What I see a lot of beginners doing is they will find some random chords. Let's say C and a G. And what they'll do is they'll try to implement some random strumming pattern because they're trying to play the song right away. But this is usually not how it works. And it will just result in this something like it's very hard to get the strumming pattern, especially the rhythm. That's what keeps uh, a lot of people from learning faster is because they get caught up in the strumming pattern and, and that kind of prevents you from even getting to the third chord. Take some random chords and a metronome or pick out your favorite song, try to play along and just get the chord changes. So if you play a song, literally just strum like this and just learn switching in between before you go on to like doing some random strumming pattern. Trust me, this will get you to learn a lot faster. This will lead us to tip number two. Getting good at strumming is essential and probably even more important than being good at switching between different chords. Basically what I mean with this is the most beautiful chord will sound stupid if you don't know how to strum. What I recommend you doing in this scenario is a lot of guitar teachers or people will tell you when you start out to buy something like this, it's called a pick. But trust me, just dump that thing. You're not gonna need it in the beginning. Oh, actually, wait, I'm actually gonna need this. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I lost the pick. So something I struggle with when I started playing guitar is being able to hold the pick and pinch it in between my thumb and my index finger and having a loose wrist at the same time. It's just kind of weird, you know? And this is usually what a lot of beginners struggle with and because as soon as you grab the pick, you're gonna hold on to it real tight because you don't want to lose it. You don't want to, you know, drop it in there. You gotta be kidding me. And this will usually result in a very stiff wrist and that is not good and will make you sound like a beginner. Again, what I recommend you doing here is drop the pick. You are not gonna need it. And learn to strum with the nails of your fingers. Well, when you do a down strum, you wanna uh, focus on strumming it with the nails of your index, middle, and ring finger. And when you strum up, you wanna strum up with your thumb. And basically what this movement is gonna look like is you, you're gonna wanna have a loose wrist to do that, is if you strum down, you kinda like whip your this right and then when you go up you kind of want to like turn your wrist up kind of like if you look down at your wrist and look at what the time is strum down like this and then when you go up you kind of drag it up and then once you've mastered a basic strumming pattern let's say down down up down up which is by the way a universal strumming pattern you can use for pretty much every song um, and once you've uh, mastered this strumming pattern for example you can try to play it with a pick so for example if you can play something like And then move on to the pick and do the same thing all over again. Now moving on to tip number three, this will kind of help you to fake people out when you know when you're trying to impress them and kind of make you seem a lot better than you actually are is something called hammer-ons. Basically turning a boring chord progression of something like this into something like Basically what a hammer-on is, if we take a C chord for example, you take any of the fingers that are pressing down on the, you know, on the notes, on the strings, whatever, and in that case let's take the middle finger, or in that graph up here, uh, I think number two, um, and you play and you uh, lift it off, and then you play and you pluck the D string, so you play it open basically, and then you just take your finger and you just hammer it on there, just kind of press it on as hard as you can. This will make your fingers feel like you're bleeding, but you'll get used to it. And that's basically all it is. So basically what I recommend doing in the beginning, um, you're not gonna have the muscles in your finger, as weird as that sounds, that kind of press down hard enough. So you don't wanna strum the whole chord and do a hammer on, like, cause you're not gonna hear it because you can't do it that hard yet. So what I recommend you doing is you just pick out a random note, just like this one. Literally just do that. And then once you can kind of get the same volume um, from picking and hammering on as like when you can maintain that volume, 
like that, that's when you can move on to kind of like implementing it in your uh, chords, something. something to keep in mind you can do hammer-ons with literally every single finger that you're pressing down a chord on now moving on to tip number four this is something I'm literally just improvising because I kind of thought of it so it's not gonna be in my script so it might sound a little weird because I'm you know it's gonna be emphasized strumming now what I see a lot of beginners doing once they you know get a chord progression just say literally just uh, down 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 up so basically just down strumming all the time and then one up strum before you switch what I see a lot of beginners doing is um, they, they don't emphasize their strumming, which basically means you hit every strum as hard as you can and kind of like at the same string. So it's going to sound horrible and it's going to sound something like this. You get the idea. Try to learn to emphasize strums differently. For example, doing the first one very hard, then the second one just lightly tapping it, and the third as well, and then fourth emphasize again. There is no rule here. All I'm saying is try to emphasize it in different ways to so sound like... You notice that a lot of guitar teachers always do this after they stop playing the chord. I don't know what it's for, but I started doing it now and I'm getting kind of annoyed at myself for doing it anyway. Now moving on to tip number five, last but not least, palm muting. Basically what palm muting is, is kind of half muting your strings as you play them and you know you don't do it here by not pressing on them and it's going to make you sound like a beginner. No, you're going to use your uh, palm of your hand and you're going to place it on the bridge of the guitar, just right about here and then you take a chord and you strum it. See, as it, it doesn't ring out. It has this kind of muted sound. This is what you call palm muting. Now if you mix this in when you play a song, it'll, for example, help you elevate the chorus more by, for example, using the verses to kind of palm mute your strumming. Like. And then when you get to the chorus, you can strum it out. So I'm like, Putting it together with the emphasized strumming. It's gonna sound real professional, real fast. Again, in a lot of this, it's not very hard. It's just a little trick that you might not be aware of once you start learning guitar. And yeah, this will literally be it for me today. Um, I don't have anything else to think of, but I definitely could do more on this. So if you wanna have uh, you know more videos like this where I kind of teach you how to get better at guitar faster fake guitar skills, stuff like that. Kind of like a fun video, or if you struggle with bar chords, I can do videos on that as well. So just let me know whatever you need help with, I'll do a video on it. Again, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already liked this video. You know, um, it will help me out a ton. Maybe get this video to get some more views as usual. I feel like it's a good topic to talk about. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.